Hey guys, welcome to another video for simonsvideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to do a video tutorial on a basic setup on your DSA battery LED projector by Innovative. Okay, first thing first is to use the remote control to focus on the screen. Let's say initially when you start up, the projector is a little bit blur like this. It's like super blur. And what do you do when the screen is super blur? On the lower uh, button, left and the right, you can actually adjust the, the focus of the lens of the projector by pressing and searching for the, the, the best uh, focus. Okay, you hear the, the thing sound is, is reached the end of the focus. Okay, now you can see, oh, it's a slightly blurred. I can go back and this is one of the best uh, uh, focus of the screen. Okay, the next thing is to set up the screen so that it's flat on the surface instead of a slanted uh, uh, orientation uh, so that you have a much professional look. Go to the settings and go to the device and set up your keystone. Okay, the keystone, you can do it manually if you want to or you can go for the auto keystone over here, the auto keystone. Simply tap on that, you automatically set the screen flat on the surface very, very nicely so that all sides of the screen is visible very, very sharp. Okay, on the projection mode, that is for people who want to do reflect uh, in a reverse mode on a glass panel. For, for example, if I click on the rotate mode and then select instead of front, uh, I can go to the uh, reverse real settings. Another way is a, like a mirror mode and another way is another mirror mode as well and back to front so you only use that to a glass panel then you use that kind of projection mode so normally i'll set this to auto so you, you go to the front and uh, aspect ratio is really depends on your own personal preference 16 is to 10 aspect ratio is the normal monitor settings if you go to 16 by 9 is uh, normal what you call it the movie settings or you go by 4 by 3 is the now the very old uh what do you call it that the CRT kind of setting aspect ratio 16 by 10 is my personal preference is really up to you whether or not you want to do that settings okay so let's say there's a digital zoom uh if you feel that the screen is a little bit too big you can actually sell it to smaller you can actually use the digital zoom to zoom it down so that you can actually project on a smaller screen itself. You, if you want to have a larger screen, unfortunately you cannot use a digital zoom to zoom out. So just uh, move the projector backwards and you get a larger screen that way. Uh, horizontal scale and vertical scale is the normal setting for people who have just gotten a new TV that is the vertical scale and the horizontal scale. It's really up to you whether you want to set it to slightly uh, narrower or wider. For the power mode, uh, when it's set on auto, you automatically set to the brightest if it's uh, plugged in. If it's unplugged using the battery, it will go to the eco mode, which is using less power. Eco mode is slightly less bright. You go to the cool, it's like slightly uh, cool, cool color. And you go to the warm, you feel slightly warmer. If you go to the standard mode, it's the brightest in terms of the, the, the power uh, consumption. It's actually much higher but it's the brightest and clearest if you want you can set it to standard uh, so that you can always have the brightest but it does consume slightly more uh, battery power if you are going out and uh, you're projecting using purely battery mode i will suggest going for the eco mode so that you use less battery but you'll still be able to use the battery for a longer period of time Okay, after you set up the, the screen as sharp as possible, the keys don't flat on the screen, what's next? You want to set up your Bluetooth devices. For example, you have a Bluetooth keyboard and you want to set up your Bluetooth keyboard. What do you do? Simply use your Bluetooth keyboard, for example, this, and uh, select the, the pairing uh, button and long press it for a couple of seconds to, to make sure that you start to pair. And once it start to blink, the, the Bluetooth setting will come up for my Logitech keyboards. 8, 6, 5, 9, 4, 1. Okay, and press Enter. So once I key in the, the pairing code pin, which will automatically generate, my keyboard has been set up. Okay, what's next after the keyboard has been set up? 
I also set up my mouse using a wired mouse. You can choose not to use a wired mouse. You can choose to use a Bluetooth mouse as well if you really want to. Okay, next is go to the Wi-Fi and set up your internet connection. So what's my internet connection? Let me choose this one. This one is pretty nice. If you want to use AirPlay, for example, with your iPad, iPhone, make sure that the Wi-Fi is the same Wi-Fi as your phone so that you can uh, add play to the projector. Okay, so now your internet connection has been set up. Remember to set up your date time, date time as well. The date time always, when you do a factory reset, the date time is always wrong, even though you can go through the network to automatically gain the, the time. Currently, the time is uh, set at uh, negative 5 GMT, which is wrong. So let me turn this off and uh, set up my time zone. Let me see, plus 8. Where is my plus 8? Okay, plus 8, there is a couple I can choose from, but the nearest is a Kuala Lumpur. Uh, there's no Singapore, unfortunately, but uh, you can actually set up to Malaysia time. And of course, uh, 24 hours format is really the military kind of format, which I do not like. I had to switch to the normal non-24 hour setting with well, PM and AM. And of course, the date format in Singapore usually is day, month, year. So it's really up to you whether you're going to choose that kind of setting. But personally, I like that. Okay, so after that, you turn on the automatic gain time and date and it should be able to work it out properly. And uh, now what you need to do is set up your Play Store so you can download application for your Android device. Yeah, okay, set up existing. If you have an existing Google account, uh, please use the existing account. If you're not, you can set up a new account. Okay, everything is all right. Okay, so let's get down to the code, which 756253. 756253 and then then Keep me up to date and accept. Okay, so basically, once your Wi-Fi has been set up, there should be access to the Google Play Store. Okay, one final tip for the DSA projector tutorial is you are able to use your mouse and go to the lower half of the screen and this little shortcut bar will actually appear, which is very, very nice. Okay, so let's say, let's do it again. Use your mouse, go all the way to the bottom. For three seconds, it will appear automatically, which is very, very convenient. You have the back button, home button, the multi task button over here. You can see you can actually swipe out and clean whatever apps is running. 1000, two, okay, two, two seconds, you'll come out. And a, a triple dot is uh, this menu to set up your sound, advanced source, power, 3D setting of your devices and image. And there is also the volume control plus minus uh, the power on off button. You can actually power off this uh, DSA projector. And of course the focusing plus and minus is here as well. You can do the focusing. You see it's a little bit blur right now. You can adjust the focus of the DSA projector so that it looks super sharp. Just using your mouse, you are able to uh, pull out this uh, very, very nice shortcut key for you to use very, very easily. So this is the final tip on setting up your DSA projector. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy, give me a thumbs up and share to your friends and subscribe for more awesome videos. Thank you very much and have a nice day. See ya, bye.